Lamar Jackson is one of the most electrifying players the NFL has ever seen, becoming the youngest NFL player to ever win a Most Valuable Player Award. It's Jackson, oh my gosh, here he goes! He'll sprint! He's being chased by Howard! You can kiss him goodbye! But for today's challenge, I'm going to reset his stats and make him a zero overall. And the only way he can get upgraded is by scoring touchdowns. Our goal is to reach a 99 overall. And if I fail to do so, I have to give away this signed Lamar Jackson trading card to a lucky subscriber in the comments down below. But considering this Lamar Jackson signed trading card is very expensive. I and upgrades but since lamar only has one speed it's gonna be kind of hard to do just that oh my god so that meant we had to resort to the pass which was even worse how are we supposed to score touchdowns thankfully lamar jackson has one of the best tight ends in the entire league in mark andrews meaning he was able to move the ball a little bit okay thank you mark andrews we just gotta do that one more time because it's fourth down and on fourth down oh we actually threw it lamar jackson actually threw a dot and that play boosted my confidence up and let's just say it wasn't a good thing that it did that Oh my g Yeah, in this instance, I learned what not to do. So in order to score touchdowns, I ran the ball off to J.K. Dobbins so he could get massive yardage. Because once again, he was an actually normal overall, unlike Lamar Jackson, who is a 12 overall. So once more, we handed it off to J.K. Dobbins, and he had a couple good runs. And I would even throw a halfback screen to him. Oh my god, we actually completed it. Completed it! J.K. Dobbins, get off me! And this run would put us in prime Lamar Jackson territory, where I would try my first devious lick of the video. Okay, we're re-optioning this. Please, Lamar. Please, Lamar, 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 Lamar Jackson actually got in! And despite him only having one speed and being a zero overall, he managed to make it work, giving us 200 points. But unfortunately for us, the Jets would march down and score more points, meaning Lamar Jackson and the offense would have to respond right away. Okay, we're just going to go back to the J.K. Dobbins route because that is working. We're just going to continue to feed him and get yardage. And so the defense eventually figured him out and I was forced to pass. Okay, Lamar, he was wide open. And because Lamar... Mark Andrews was so wide open, I decided to run the play back, and yes, he actually think you bleeded it. I knew that was a fluke, Lamar. I built up so much confidence that I even tried a QB blast, and this would happen. Okay, why did I do that? Everything was going so well. Why did I do And yeah, that was a quick summary of game number one. 45 to 24. Lamar Jackson would throw for 250 yards with two touchdowns. It's up to five interceptions, though. That's kind of disgusting. And he would have one rushing touchdown to go along with that as well. We would have four 400 points to upgrade Lamar Jackson. Okay, 400 points to work with Lamar. What are we going to upgrade first? And considering Lamar Jackson is one of the league's best running quarterbacks of all time and rushing touchdowns are worth 200 points, I'm going to be upgrading 99 speed and 99 acceleration and 99 agility. I mean, if we're going to use Lamar Jackson, we might as well play like him, right? And with the additional 100 points, I spent it to max out carrying. Yeah, we are not going to fumble Lamar, no doubt about it. We are literally a running back. We, we are aren't even a quarterback yet. I did not touch any of the accuracies. And because I didn't touch any of the accuracies, we are still at 12 overall. God. And to make things even more difficult, I will be raising the difficulty from all pro all the way up to all Madden. Okay, I just raised the bar to all Madden and we literally still have zero accuracies all across the board. I might be doomed. And to add insult to injury, we would have a tough opponent with the Miami Dolphins week number two. But thankfully, Lamar Jackson has maxed out in every single running category. So it would make things a bit easier. Just just kidding. Okay, all right. So we, we still have problems. I would be forced to pass the ball. And that still wouldn't work out. Oh, God. Okay. It's actually more difficult than I imagined. And my worst nightmares were yet to come. That was a terrible throw, Lamar. And the Dolphins would march down and score seven. Meaning we would have to respond. Otherwise, this game would be over quick. Dude, there is nothing I can do. Jalen Phillips is a god. And I pretty much just threw to Mark Andrews and the rest is history. First down, Mark Andrews. Oh, my God. You are savior. And with Mark Andrews opening up the pass game that uh, definitely opened up the rushing game allowing lamar jackson and co to get some easy yardage oh lamar jackson don't fumble please please thank you okay the read options have not been working that definitely will i gotta do what lamar jackson does best and just let him make a play in the pocket and with the defense on their toes with lamar jackson running it opened up jk dobbins out the backfield okay jk i'm gonna need that they would soon go back to old
old reliable and Mark Andrews. First down, Mark Andrews. Okay. Lamar Jackson has scared me with these throws. I cannot lie. And then just like that, we would hit a home run run. Lamar Jackson first down. What a run. We would soon be inching our way closer to the red zone, where I would then go to old reliable and let Lamar Jackson make a play with his legs. Okay, that literally did not work at all. Yeah, I, I, I don't know why I did that. So I had to take my three in hopes that we could stop the Miami Dolphins. Okay, no, it's 14 to three. But that didn't stop Lamar Jackson from putting the team on his back this drive, trying to get his team back in the game. Oh yes, we have to use this 99 speed, dude. It is beautiful. And let's just say I got a bit carried away. Oh no, I don't know why I thought that would work. With Lamar Jackson still having zero stamina, we could not run the ball as much as I wanted to with him. So we had to resort to the pass. Mark Andrews, my guy. I would get a bit risky with some throws. Yeah, that was not ideal. And even the refs would get in our way. Holding? Are you not only meant that it was time for Lamar Jackson to take back over? Please, Lamar. Please, you're so tired, dude. Your stamina is showing. It would show even the next play. Lamar. Meaning we were forced to take yet another field goal. And with our defense forcing a massive turnover to start the second half, we would already be in the red zone. Okay, Lamar Jackson in the red zone with Truss. I say we just got to punch this in with Lamar. Oh my God, look at him go. Lamar, Lamar. He's so cracked. And being set up at the five yard line, I knew there was no other way to go than Lamar Jackson. Lamar! Oh my God, what a run. That was cracked. This is peak Lamar Jackson. Well, the defense getting yet another stop. It was time for us to take advantage and take the lead. Oh my God, Lamar Jackson, make that throw. Yeah, no, he didn't make the throw at all. Oh my God, that's on me. That, that is on me, that is on me. The Dolphins up nine, Lamar Jackson took it personally. Okay, Lamar, go baby. We would then hit our favorite target, Mark Andrews. We would actually hit him again because he was just so wide open. And this would eventually turn out to be the structure and foundation of this amazing... Yeah, no, just kidding. This drive would end in a stall fest. Okay, yeah, th there, there's nothing we can do. 36 to 12. Lamar with zero passing touchdowns and four interceptions. But we did have 90 rushing yards and a touchdown, so uh, I, I guess that's cool. It means we do have 200 points to work with. With Lamar Jackson slowly becoming an avid passer, there were still some major holes in his game with the throws that he was unable to complete. I knew exactly what I was going to upgrade next. Okay, we're going to give him 99 short throw accuracy. And we'll give him 99 throw under pressure as well. He's still at 12 overall though. Okay. And with this heading into week three, winless against the one and one New England Patriots. This was definitely a rebounding game that we had in mind. Oh dude, he is perfect accuracy. And following that, Lamar Jackson would have a massive run, but it would be negated by a flag. Holding, can we stop holding? But this is no worry for us and Lamar because with these new throw accuracies, he was a changed man. Oh yes, number 10, I don't even know who you are, but yes, keep going. Sir. Lamar Jackson now being able to hit the easy throws and actually make them look easy. It made the defense worry about the air. Yes, Lamar, just don't fumble. And even though Lamar Jackson did have 99 short throw accuracy, there were still some flaws in his game. Okay, but we would move past that and we would find our way into the red zone. Big fourth down conversion, Isaiah Likely. Okay, DuVernay, I will take that. And with this in the red zone, it was prime Lamar Jackson territory. Massive first down, Robinson. But with a massive sack, it would push us back to the 12 yard line. But that was a no problem for the newly revamped Lamar. DuVernay, what a dot from Lamar. Oh, the 99 short throw accuracy is amazing. And with this taking the quick lead and getting the ball back, it was time to capitalize and extend our lead. Mark Andrews, good accuracy, I'll take that. And I would eventually build up my confidence and try a quick QB blast. Okay, okay, that, that was whatever. So because of that, I would go back to the air and just continue to hit Mark Andrews. Perfect accuracy, he is balling. With Lamar Jackson being blitzed by both safeties, we would panic, but we would somehow get this off. Oh my God, Lamar, what a play. That looks like prime Lamar. But what didn't look like prime Lamar was this. Okay, all right. Our remains calm in the pocket and fired a dot to Robinson. On the one yard line, yes, this is a quick QB blast, easy touchdown. Yes, Lamar, keep fighting. But the Patriots storming back and scoring a quick seven. It was up to Lamar Jackson to continue to keep this lead up. Lamar, yes, get out of bounds. That's why we upgraded your speed and agility. And just when I thought things were going well. No, Lamar! With it now being tied 14 to 14, the pressure was on us to deliver. And with the big run by Gus Edwards, it would open up the pass game. But Lamar Jackson just could not make throws. Oh my. And unfortunately, we cannot break through this game. 31 to 14. Not that we wouldn't win, Lamar Jackson would finish with one passing touchdown and one rushing touchdown, totaling up to 300 points in upgrades. And considering our flaws were exposed drastically that game, I knew exactly what I was going to upgrade. Okay, 99 awareness, 99 medium throw accuracy. 
accuracy. And to round it out, I maxed out throw power. Okay, yeah, we're gonna max out 99 throwing power. Hopefully that helps. Just like that, we're 68 overall. Okay. And again, the week four, we would be facing off against the 0-3 Buffalo Bills. Our perfect game for us to get our first win of this. 0-4. Lamar would finish with two touchdowns, totaling 200 points, but it wouldn't be enough to secure the dub. Okay, with 200 points, what should I spend on Lamar Jackson? We're definitely gonna max out his deep throw accuracy. And with the remaining 100, I decided to do the most Lamar Jackson thing and max out break sack. Yeah, I mean, this is Lamar Jackson we're talking about. Maxing out break sack is just peak. We're 96 overall. Okay, we were right there. One more game and we should get it. And facing it off against the Cincinnati Bengals, a divisional rival. What better game for it to pick up our first dub and get Lamar Jackson to a 99 overall? Let's just say Lamar Jackson will start this game out with a bang. Oh, dude, he is so good. Oh, he feels so much more fluid and just so much better. And he would make throws like this just so easy looking. Devin Duvernay. Oh my God, he's looking like Randy Moss. And just like that in three plays, we would march down and score. Lamar Jackson! <laughs> so fast. He is so good. Lamar Jackson returning to MVP status. There was simply nothing that the Cincinnati Bengals could do. Mark Andrews, what a grab. I mean, just look at this play from Lamar. Go, go, go. Come on. What a play. Dude, Lamar Jackson literally looks like himself out there. And soon after that, wide open. And with the defense forcing yet another stop, we would be stuck on our seven yard line, but it wouldn't matter when you have Lamar Jackson as your quarterback. No, just don't fumble. I mean, dude, just look at this throw. Lamar <laughs> oh my god, Lamar is un unbelievable. No matter what he did, they just could not stop him. Mark Andrews broke a tackle, come on. And even though the Bengals thought they did something, stopping him at the three-yard line. Oh my god, I don't even know what just happened, but that was beautiful. I think because Lamar Jackson was doing so well that Joe Burrow just got so intimidated because they were not doing anything on offense as we get the ball back yet again. Okay, Mark Andrews, who should I throw to here? Well, it wouldn't be a hard decision for me as Mark Andrews would be wide open across the middle of the field. Okay, well, that was easy, Mark. It would be even easier on the next play. Lamar, your stamina, please. Oh, God. No matter what they did, they just couldn't stop him. No way, no way, no way you do this. Yep, he did it. Lamar Jackson is unbelievable. I have seen enough. In fact, this game was so ugly that honestly, as a Bengals fan, I probably would have disowned them. 48 to 20. Lamar Jackson with an absurd stat line. 382 yards, three passing touchdowns, and he also have three runs rushing touchdowns. Six touchdowns for Lamar Jackson. This man is insane. With a performance like that, we could literally upgrade Lamar Jackson in, in, in any category we wanted. I, mean, I guess we'll give him 99 break tackling. And to do the most Lamar Jackson thing ever, I would give him 99 change of direction, 99 spin move, and 99 juke move. You know, as a meme, I think we should give him catching because, you know, remember when everyone thought Lamar Jackson was a wide receiver? But we're just gonna, you know, max out his catching. With tons of upgrading in memes later. We're at 99 over all of Mar Jackson. We've done it. It started off ugly, but we rebounded and we have now made our way to a 99 overall. Although the journey was ugly, we've done it. And if you enjoyed Lamar Jackson's journey from a zero overall to a 99 overall, I did the same thing with Patrick Mahomes. So click right here if you want to see this. Another MVP award winner in Patrick Mahomes. You know, Lamar Jackson, Patrick Mahomes, they kind of shared the same thing. So if you enjoyed this video, click right here. It was a banger.